from the hills. Hey, we are at the JW Marriott Masuri. We just checked into a Valley View room. But first, take a look at the bathroom. It's as big as an apartment in Mumbai, and perhaps two people could sleep there. Now, let's take you around for the real room tour. I'm also going to be working through this trip and I'm so glad to have a comfortable table here with, I hope, unlimited supply of wine and there's some a lot of food around here as well. Uh, I was told, as a Marriott elite, this bottle of wine came complimentary because the lounge was closed. Fine, I'll take that. There's a lot of uh, sanitization uh, that's being done at this, this list takes care of all the surfaces that were sanitized before I arrived in the room and uh, thank you for that Marriott and then there is this kit which I can request anytime it's already placed in the room but if I need more then uh, it's got masks it's got sanitizer it's got wipes so I think uh, Marriott's doing a pretty good job of uh, making sure people are safe when they're traveling and then there is this bed which well very comfortable. Well, it's about 7.30 a.m. and uh, here we are for breakfast at the JW Cafe, which is the all-day cafe at the Marriott Masuri. Like you see, they have a nice beautiful gingerbread house for Christmas and behind it they have Arnes, Arnes and as Santa Claus in here is Shipra waiting for me to complete a shoot. Hey, how hungry are you this morning? Say again, say louder. How hungry are you this morning? I'm actually very hungry. I didn't eat dinner last night. Okay, so let's get you some breakfast. This is the cafe which serves you a buffet for breakfast and uh, you know around here uh, we come in early because we want to beat the crowd because a hey, pandemic but a lot of things on offer here a lot of things to be done on order as well they're basically spaced out the whole cafe right now and the capacity is 50% uh, of what it used to be in the past so here am I, score the table outside, no people, alfresco dining, so no problem with the virus around here, hopefully. We sanitize our hands before every meal, but look at this, you get direct access to the view without a glass if you choose to come and sit outside, not something that many people appreciate in the winters because obviously it's about one degrees or two degrees every morning. Hey, naughty or nice on this breakfast? I'm trying to maintain a balance. I'm eating sabzi, saute vegetables, but I'm also going to totally indulge in puris and parathas. So right now is the nice side of me, but after 15 minutes it's going to be the naughty side of me. Lovely. Bon appetit. Shipra, what did you bring for breakfast? I got myself some idli and bacon. And by the way, before you make a face, it is a legit combination. Okay, okay, okay. What they do over here is they actually plant vegetables and uh, fruits and kuch kuch. Okay, so abito it's all gone because like it's severe winters, but like I don't know if you can see there's one mitchi flying out of there. But in the summers when we come here, 
there's like bengan and bindi and kopi and this is sort of my ultimate place so every time i come here i always come here without fail every day and take a look at it and you know the best part like check out the views from here they like absolutely stunning i love this place From the time uh, JW Marriott Masuri opened, they've been holding an evening high tea called Kachri so every day of the year. So, like you see, it's set up for the day. part of the evening high tea there is always some food and beverages around hot tea a lot of these little snacks these don't change it's the same every day hidden in the basement of uh, the JW Marriott Missouri is this uh, little place called the den where you have a couple of bowling uh, lanes and uh, you have a little bit of a cent entertainment center, you have some video games, arcade games, you have some table tennis. This is the play area. You can leave your kids here apparently with an attendant or come and use this with your kids and keep them busy. Well, it's cloudy around here and I finally managed to get out for lunch rather than order in room service at the Wisteria Deck, which is an Italian restaurant of JW Marriott Masuri. Like you see, it's the festive season, so mulled wine it is. It's open, I think it's about minus five, sorry, it's uh, just about one degree right now. And it's a beautiful view to dine with. It's only open for lunch. And uh, this restaurant apparently sources a lot of local ingredients. So I've ordered in a cheese, uh, a pizza today, which has local cheese. I'm going to find out what does it taste on my pizza like. Well, pizza always tasted better with a view and in the winters, right? Mm. This one is yummy. And the local cheese is pretty good. The JW Marriott Masuri does not have a permanent lounge, but they do have a temporary lounge that opens up at the Teppan, which is their Asian restaurant every evening. And there are drinks, there's some light bites, and there is some nice hot food around here. Every evening between 5 and 7 p.m., which includes things like today, it's chili chicken, fish tikka, and the works. Good morning. It seems it went to freezing point yesterday and we have a little bit of the water residue freezing up. 
is this a beautiful view to wake up to i just love the plants chirping here in the morning if you like this kind of a view to wake up to make sure you book up the valley view rooms here because these are the only kind of rooms that face outward and some of the other rooms just face the hills at the back here is lunch which might put me to sleep but it's the local lunch we are shepra and the chef tell me that this is the kumauni and the garwali thali and uh, we'll hand it over to the chef to explain us what are we eating because apparently everything is local on these plates and everything is rustic so i'm very excited to eat this but i really want to find out what do we have today for lunch we begin with the pahadi thali mm -hmm. now uh, this one represents the food of the teal region uh, so i will begin with the first introducing the characteristic ingredients this one is made with kandali kandali is a himalayan nettle and it's special because if you really don't know how to handle this ingredient it can give you a sting that pains for 8 to 10 hours okay so it's uh, basically devised by nature that anything that is hard to conquer mm -hmm. is actually the most nutritious thing and it's something uh, the thrill of enjoying this is something like enjoying the fugu sushi maybe for the vegetarian so the garwalis take pride in this and always serve to special guests so like we are serving this to you oh, today thank you. thank you so the kandali is actually plucked first uh, basically burnt on a open spit fire and then boiled and cooked along with other beans to neutralize uh, the effects of the the basic the enzymes okay. but then it's it's got wonderful nutrition for this kind of weather mm. and god has devised it in such a way that this can't be cultivated it can only be foraged from the wild jungles okay. so the team is basically involved in going out picking it up and then creating this delicacy uh, this one here is gehat ki dal Hmm. which is uh, again the horse crumb or the wonder lentil that grows only on this particular altitude and wonderful for the kidneys mm -hmm. the alu jakia which is the local mustard jakia uh, which is characteristic for its texture mustard are usually known for the pungency but this one has a beautiful crunch no matter how long you cook this in a dry medium or a wet medium this still retains the crunch so, so the mustard is local mustard it's local mustard it's also known as a dog mustard okay. and is only characteristically grown on this particular altitude at uttarakhand this one again is the jakia rice which uh, the jakia gives a very nice crunch to the the rice uh, this is the local silver tikki kuti hui chutney mm -hmm. the millet kheer or the jangora kheer jangora is also known as the samak ke chawal or the baniyad millet which is oh, a very yes, healthy yes. alternative to rice and this one is relu or uh, the local raita which has been enriched with some himalayan turmeric that we have from an organic farm and we keep that for use of the local produce the characteristic of this thali is there are no powdered spices used there are no robust spices used everything has its own natural flavor and these two dishes are the chicken and the mutton which is again prepared very rustically the locals would have non vegetarian food only on special gatherings where it is prepared in communication outside because uh, in their homes they would set up the idols uh, and the gods and the goddesses and at home it would be primarily a vegetarian diet so the dev bhumi culture as well as the festivity culture that oh. you together on this particular plate and the bread for you here is the mandreki roti which is uh, also known as a finger millet The lobby lounge is called Perch, and it can serve you a tea or a coffee. And we are usually to be found here once a day, taking in all these gorgeous views of these artifacts. And they can also get you a mean sandwich. Today's day unlimited of uh, my stay here. I just lost track of the number of days I have here, but it's uh, the first of January, and we are out. for dinner at trout which is the indian grill of this hotel like you can see trout house grill and bar the trout house has an extensive bar especially of single malts and uh, it's got inside seating and it's got this extensive 
outside seating area. It's a nippy 1st of January and you can see there is a gentleman or some live performances going on right here and then of course a lot of bonfire going on to keep people warm and let's uh, head across to Shipra who's here still working 1st of January into her phone well we do not no, like the smoke One of the specialities at trout is obviously the trout fish and they have six or seven kind of these. We pre-ordered the tandoori trout today and well you will not be getting a great view in the video. It's a gorgeous fish and um, I'm just ready to dig into it right now. So Shipra was feeling cold outside and we brought the main courses inside. On the chef's recommendation, we're trying out the kumadhari meat. It's goat and apparently a secret sauce of spices. Bon appetit to us and uh, like you can see, Shifra is getting angry around here. It's been cold. I Go for it. Just checking in my final views before I leave this uh, beautiful resort in the middle of the hills after a whole of nine nights here. The JW Marriott Masuri is truly a great property and uh, Shepra and me have been patronizing this place since 2015. Almost always love coming back here. Some of the thoughts on this visit have been and why Perhaps you want to come back here, come here in the first place. It's a small property, so it's about 100, 115 uh, rooms in all. And there's some gorgeous views around here. The second part is, this is in the middle of nowhere. This is not main Masuri, so you don't run into the hustle bustle of the uh, tourism part of it. It's uh, separated and hence the people you're going to meet here are only the people you're gonna meet here. It's not like you're gonna be polluted by regular crowds, um, which is, I think, very important during the times of the pandemic that we're traveling right now. Uh, there is enough to do for kids. There is a baby uh, area. There is a, a place called the den where you can uh, billiards, pool, it's all there. There's enough activities. There's hiking and trekking though. Because of the winters, we did not really uh, go out and do that. There is a daily uh, high tea ceremony. More than that, there's enough options to eat. Even for vegans, even for vegetarians, everyone has enough options to eat around here. And I love the fact that I think, at least on the current chef, uh, this place is going for sustainable local options. Local has always been a uh, priority at this place. But now they're trying to make it sustainable and local, which is great, I think. Uh, because of the small place, you can actually kind of uh, choose to be as involved, in the sense be as out there or just stay indoors and still have a great service around here. The staff is very, very nice here. And uh, if you're an elite, uh, the benefits are top notch here. They're not going to shock you in any benefits. There's lounge, there's uh, upgrades, there's uh, kind of points, all of that. Everything works wonderfully here. Last but not the least, because we're traveling during the pandemic, clean protocols are very, very important. Uh, I've seen most of the times everything works flawlessly around here. In fact, the room cleanliness, I was uh, happened to, I happened to be in the room one day while these guys were cleaning up the whole place. They make everything spick and span, everything is disinfected, and I can personally watch for the fact that everything that they say on the brochure actually happens. There are, however, a couple of cons as well, and one of them, again, relates to COVID. 
uh, I think crowd management at the dining areas becomes horrible sometimes uh, and it's less of a problem of dealing with the staff then but it's more of a problem of dealing with the crowd because some people just don't wear their masks accessing the food and that could be trouble. Obviously, you know, you have to be responsible for your safety and the safety of others. So uh, I would lay also at the door of the guests that they kind of maintain their safety and hygiene. Uh, the other thing, the distance from the city could be a bummer for those who don't drive in here because uh, every time you want to get out of uh, this place, if you want to get out of this place, you will have to spend quite a bit of money uh, just to either walk down to or uh, drive down to Masuri or drive down to Kempty Falls or Landor. But I think in the larger scheme of things, it's uh, maybe a small fraction of the money that we'll be spending. Overall, a great experience. And I think I will come back here again very soon. Now, uh, been here during the summers, during the winters, during the spring, I think the spring and the winters are my favorite seasons to be here. Just back here to remind you that if you like this video and the other videos on our channel, please like and subscribe uh, so that you can keep getting all the extensive content we have planned for you for travels during the pandemic and otherwise. Thank you very much.